Hello there, everyone. This is Amber Hawkins, your Computer Needs Atelier LLC, celebrating year number 15 of Computer Training and More That Comes to You. For more information, call or text to 419-304-4564, or you can go to the contact link of your yourcomputerneeds.net. I want to cover a topic that many people still find confusing, but hopefully after this, everything will be clarified for the workforce, for your business, even for individual needs. The one topic I want to talk about is mail merge. Mail merging, in this case, as far as with the Microsoft Office suite, uh, in that I mentioned that because I am Microsoft Master Mouse instructor certified as far as trainings, trainings I can do in the master instructor level, as far as with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Access, Outlook, and also Publisher. I want to cover, in this case, Access quickly. Let me get back to as far as mail merging is concerned. The videos, there are a lot of them, that's true. But this is covering as far as the question if you can perform a mail merge with access as far as with access as far as with excel which would be another short uh, little training here and also with outlook another small training that will be forthcoming the information from there can be used to perform a mail merge you cannot perform a mail merge on these specific software programs the mail merge happens when Word is brought forth. And I'm about to demonstrate that here quickly. Give me just a quick moment. I'm about to share my screen and we can get underway. And as everything is coming forth, I wanna mention the differences between some of the Microsoft Office programs. Word is mainly your word processing program. Excel is your spreadsheet. Outlook is your email. PowerPoint is your presentation. Publisher, you can do many things such as greeting cards, flyers, and there have those who have even used Publisher for either, for either rather the cover of their books or in developing a book itself or developing a program for a special event. There are many things you can do with Publisher, which will be covered at another time. As you can see right here, this is Access, which is your database. A lot of people get Access and Excel confused. A lot of people use information as far as typing it into Excel, which can be done, but uh, access, I should say, is a straight database. Can there be some functionalities similar with access as far as with Excel and all? Yes, it can, but access was designed to be, again, a straight database program. This is the demo that I'm going to show here as far as doing the mail merge. What you'll need to do with the sample database I have here, you'll need to go into the external data, excuse me, tab. And that's what these are called here. Uh, let me make sure this is selected and give it just a moment. It will uh, pop up as you can see now. I'm going to go into the export group, which is this group right here. And I'm going to click on word merge because I want to specifically use this data to perform the mail merge that I want to perform. I would click on that and there will be a pop-up box or dialog box that will be coming up soon. And it will give me a choice of what I want to do with the mail merge. 
and let's see we have it because it is <laughs> an exclusive mode okay well what we're going to do is do what it says i'm going to close and reopen the database real soon so give me just a moment And I'm going to stop sharing the screen for a moment while I perform that task. Let me mention quickly, if you would like more information, again, as far as what the company does, you can go to yourcomputerneeds.net. In the description, you will also see where else you can contact me as far as uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and I need to see if I still have Periscope or not. <laughs> I keep mentioning Periscope because I was on Periscope a lot. And I don't even know if it exists or not. I need to get back to that, of course. But another place you can uh, contact me is via YouTube. You can also uh, contact me via Instagram. So giving this just a moment to have access reopen. And... I will be reopening the database and we shall see if this dialog box pops up and then we can go on from there. In case you run into this situation, this is what will need to be done in order to perform the task that you need to perform. So reopening the database real quick. And as it's reopening, I will be sharing the screen again so that we can go on ahead to perform this mail merge. And that is coming up. Let me go ahead and share the screen again. And let's see if this does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> The wonderful world of technology sometimes. Yes, I, believe me, I know. So back to the external data tab again. And the groups that belong with this tab will be forthcoming. And we're going to, from the export group, click on word merge again. And let's see what happens. Ah, right, here we go. This is what I was looking for. I have a choice of the following. I can either link the data that I have to a Microsoft document I already have prepared, or I could create a new document and then make sure that the data is linked to this new document, which I'm going to do. I want to do it as a new document so that if you ever find yourself in this situation, you'll know what to do. And then after that, you click OK. And you need to make sure that if you perform this, you do have a word. Yes, I know. All right. So I have word showing. And I know that it should be showing up soon, but for purposes of this video, I'm going to stop sharing the screen and share it again. So this is Microsoft Word coming up. And as you can see, the mailing tab has surfaced or has become visible. For a good number of these programs, certain tabs and menus and groups as I call them don't appear unless you use that functionality. So here in the mailings I'm using this uh, mail merge task right here. So as you can see the mailings tab has appeared along with this groups. The steps of doing a mail merge are pretty simple 
am I doing letters? You can also do mail merging as far as with email messages, with envelopes, with labels, and with a directory. In this case, I'm going to be doing a sample letter. So I'm going to go on to the next step, uh, which will be coming up soon. Because uh, the next step after starting a document is uh, selecting the recipients. So as far as that is concerned, how do I want to set this up? Am I going to use the current document, which is blank right here? Am I going to start from a template, a template? Or am I going to start from an existing document? In this case, I'm going to use a current document. So let's go into the next step, which is selecting the recipients. I have my choice of the following. Do I want to use an existing list? Do I want to select from, if I'm using Outlook, any Outlook contacts? Or do I want to type a brand new list altogether? That I'm not going to do, although you can do it. I'm going to be using an existing list and it's showing me which list it is. Uh, this is the sample list that I have selected, which is labeled mail merger customers in this case. I can select a different list if I wanted to. I can even, if I want to, edit the list. Maybe I just thought about someone that I forgot to list that needs to receive this letter. I have my choice of doing that here, saving it, and then going on to the next step, which is writing the letter. I can choose whether I want to use an address block. If I use an address block, it's like how it appears if a mail piece was coming to you. So that's the meaning of the address block. I can use the green lines which I will do, you have your choice of using electronic postage. You also have more items which you are able to choose from. Now I can insert the fields that I need from here or from what's called the insert merge field. I'm going to ch choose that because although it's interchangeable, it depends on what you're more comfortable with and what will help you be more productive. For me, how I was trained, I found doing this way more productive for me. So I'm going to, let's say this is October 12, 2020, and I'm going to kind of do like a memo style or like a simple block letter. I don't know if anybody remember those terms, but I'm just going to do it that way. So what I want to have in this mail merge is who I'm addressing the letter to. The information I'm pulling from the database file is that information it's going to appear as a field. The reason being is that's the way it's designed. And if it's going to work that way, you have to set it up that way. But here are the fields I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in the salutation. And to let me know that in a space, I'm gonna put in the first name and the space and put the last name. And I'm going to the next line. And the address is going to be put here. I want to make sure I have the city. I want to make sure I have the state. And I want to make sure I have the zip code. I could put a greeting line if I want, or I can make up my own greeting line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make up my own greeting line, which is included, but I'm just going to type it out for demonstration purposes. Dear, and then 
the addressing of the person, salutation, and then the last name of that person. I'll put a colon and the double space right here. I want to see if everyone that I've needed to send this letter to is included. I can preview this by going from the mailings tab to the preview results group. And I could click on where it has this ABC with the double red arrows. And although I have a sample of four, I can see if I am addressing these correctly. So I'm clicking on this arrow to make sure that I see all the people who will need to receive this letter. No, these aren't actually going out. And, oh, I forgot to mention the disclaimer. In, in case these are actual addresses, I did not know this. These are made up. I assure you, these are made up. So I want to see that, yes, these are the recipients that will be receiving the information and that everything is correct. I'm going to click off of this and I'm going to type this sample letter. Let's see. Dear whoever the recipient is, this is a remind, reminder that your appointment has been rescheduled for next week. Please contact my schedule coordinator speaking in the atmosphere of when you what day and time works best for you if there are questions call me after 2 p.m. at 419-304-4564. Thank you. Let's see, salutation. And that last name. care and be safe. All right, there we go with the sample letter. And I'm ready after I do a quick preview to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Click off of preview results and then go on to the next step, which is preview your letters, which I did already, but for, again, demonstration purposes, I want to make sure that you see what the steps are. I can preview them right here in the preview results group. I have the ability to preview the results under where it says preview your letters. Find recipient or find a recipient is a great tool to use in case you have a large database of people you need to send letters to and you want to go back and do a double check for whatever reason. You can also, in this step, if need be, go back and edit your list. Maybe there's someone on the list that does not need to receive the letter or whatever task or situation is going on. You have the ability to do that. Let's go on to complete the merge. And I could do it here if I want uh, under the mailings tab and finish group, but I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next step. I have a choice of how I want to complete the merge. 
again I can finish and merge here I can do it as far as individual documents I can do it as far as printing the documents or I can do it as far as sending the email messages if I need to go back and edit individual documents I can also do it here or I can just do a straight print if you have a large group of people to do this make sure you arrange the time frame in order to do that it will be easier as you can see to check everything along the way even before you get to this last step because the one thing you definitely want to do is make sure your time is used wisely and with everything these days especially with the majority of us working remotely the majority of us for those of us who still have to go to a building or wherever anyone needs to go to to perform their task safely especially around this time frame which is the last three months of the year everything is like this and time is of the essence so for you for those of you who have to do this for your jobs for those of you who have to do this for your business or you contract to someone to do this for you uh, for those of you who have individual reasons to do this maybe you're in the midst of trying to prepare for an event safe distance wise or virtually and these need to go out take the time to check along the way as I did here so that this task is done and then you can go on to whatever the next task there is I'm going to show this as far as editing individual letters because I want to bring up this dialog box here I can merge all the records I can merge the current record or let's say I have a large pool of records as they're called here I can maybe check on those from 20 to 30 or I check on those from 1 to 5 or check on those from 90 to 100 whatever the case may be this is a short list or short record of individuals made up of course so I'm going to click OK when you do this if this is the choice this is going to bring up individual letters all in one document so here is the first letter that will be printed or going out or emailed this is the second letter that will be printed going out US mail or email this is the third letter that will be going out either US mail or email this is the or even fax let me, let me include that yes we still fax these days or e-fax this is the final letter that will be going out either email or US mail or facts there are those entities that do it was called paperless so this will probably include it in their systems so that whoever needs to view a correspondence they will be able to see this letter if it pertains to them as an example so I hope that has helped everyone out and if there are any questions, make sure to comment below. Again, this is Amber Hawkins, your computer needs at Tilio LLC, celebrating year number 15 of computer training and more that comes to you. Spread the word about this, especially if you know someone who definitely needs this training. Everyone take care and always continue to be safe. Bye-bye.